really are trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. See you soon. Hi cultists, welcome back. Today we'll be continuing the playthrough of Sully the Princess, continuing where we left off. We were sent back to the beginning of the story again by uh, some sort of entity that took the princess away. Entity or whatever it was uh, told us to find her more perspectives. So I am thinking she's referring to, I guess, the endings. I'm not really sure. I, I know this game, of course, has multiple endings. But oh man, the story so far have been has been amazing. I, I I've been liking it a lot. Let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay right away. Oh, uh, the narrator said that uh, again we're on the path in the woods. The end of the bed is the cabin, and the basement of the cabin is a princess. What's gonna happen now? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. What the hell? <laughs> Sweet. I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolución! <laughs> I, I think those are new options, and I love them. <laughs> um, man, uh, I think for this one, I'm just gonna go straight away and kill her. Killing a princess sounds... seems kind of bad, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? <laughs> Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman, or a miller, or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to the cabin. Suddenly, continue to the cabin. I'm I'm not gonna defy the narrator. The path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not gonna okay. go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, uh, going to proceed into the cabin. I... I don't know what to expect. Oh, man. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay, we're, we're going to slay the princess this time. I'm going to enter the basement. <gasps> yeah, so I'm in the door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Again, you guys put, well, someone put her here. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Mm. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Okay. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great <laughs> job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. And um, okay. Hi. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. The shackle. The shackle, last time, it wrapped around our neck and pretty much left us trapped here till the end of time. For what I gather, <laughs> the last ending. So. Ah, oh, man, it's still so confusing. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Yeah, uh, we're gonna kill her. Uh, you weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. No. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. 
I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. I... No. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Sorry, hero. Uh... Don't you dare. Yeah. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Sorry, hero. Ah. Uh, tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten uh. your grip on the blade. And the sound of the... Oh, man. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Okay. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Sad. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. So she's defiant now. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. This is it, isn't it? I guess. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Oh, man. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. Yes. But is it over? Really over? Hero, stop it! <laughs> of course not. Okay, of course it is. She's dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. Thank you, narrator. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Okay. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Because we did we kill someone. You did kill someone. Greater yeah. good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. Hope, but really. that day Hope. isn't today. Let's just get out of here. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. That reader, did you trick me? What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. What the fuck, narrator? <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Hey. Psst. Hey. 
we're not just gonna stay here forever, right? Oh no, do you have any idea how to get us the heck out I of do, here? But you're probably not going to like it. You are gonna make me kill myself. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Chat. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Narrator, this is a wonderful... It isn't a wonderful place. This is a sort of cavern at the end of existence in eternity, apparently. So no, I'm not happy here. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. I mean, we're killing ourselves. Don't you dare. Fuck off, narrator. I mean, I can wait in eternity or I can just go kill myself. And although that sounds like my life right now, I don't think that I want to, to do that. So uh, anything to get out of here? <sighs> Thank you. No worries, hero. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity no. of bliss? You... you... ingrate. This isn't bliss. This is a... four walls and a door. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. <laughs> the princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Okay, it's immediate. Okay. The end. Nice knowing you. Thank you, narrator, for being so... you. Special. Chapter 2, The Spectre. Oh. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. <laughs> terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. No, you're lying. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Voice of the cold. Damn. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. This is more than a deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. Like I said, we've just met for the first time, you and I. Yeah, right. I mean, I already asked this question, so I'm going just to proceed to the cavern and see what happens. A warning before you go any further. Yeah. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. She won't be a problem. And that voice. Uh, proceed into the cavern. How will we look like this time? The interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. Having got creepy. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. I mean, <laughs> the voice of the cold is. I don't know, it's. It sounds stupid, but it's chilling. It's like. Oh man. Ah. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. 
It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Do I mention the mirror this time or just... I'm... I'm just gonna enter the basement because if... Last time... The princess was alive again. But we didn't kill her, so... I don't know what to expect, man. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. He doesn't talk to me. Naturally. As much Shut as I up. appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. Yes. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Damn it. God damn it. Two deep set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Wow. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? You're an iterator. You're supposed to know. G -g 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 ghost Shut up, hero. Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Kill us. Of course. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. <laughs> I... Aya. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Ah. Uh. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Wait and see how things play out. I see you brought that annoying knife again. Yeah. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? Got the face. I mean, I, I love the, the aesthetic of the game and the designs, like, everything looks like it's, like, draw from a pencil. I like it a lot. What are these options, dude? No, I, I want to ask her, uh, do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. And not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. Oh. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. What are you talking about? And where are you supposed to be? Oh. Oh. And just, where is home, I wonder? Yes, hero. I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from someplace far away. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. Okay. How specific. Hey, you're not cold, you're sarcastic now. But how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. 
which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. She's dead. I mean, you told me to kill her, and now she's dead, and it's a ghost. So, uh, is I wasn't sure if she was going to be the end of the world, being alive. Now, being a ghost is less likely, I guess. Is there any way I can help you get home? Do you need me to bury these bones? Those bones? No. Those bones are just a body. They aren't me. Bury them. Smash them. It won't do a thing. How can I help you? But you can help me. This place won't let me leave. At least, I'm not alone. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Like, when we were in the, in the eternity? I don't know. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything would be fine. Well, the narrator let us this time, Hasn't though. got out and can't get out are two very different things. That'd be dull, anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Oh, After all, you owe me. Absolutely not. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Is she asking if she can possess us? <laughs> yeah, hero. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. This would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once we're out of the cabin. If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. Dead. Don't much like the sound of that. It's crowded enough in here as is. It could be the yeah. best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is a very dangerous train of thought. Why the other voices are like the more interesting? Like, Cold has it like, Cold's like, well, maybe we can have her confront whoever put her in the in the basement. And also, has a good point. If she can, she if she possesses us, but we still are in control. She wouldn't do any harm. If if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Sure. Why not? Yeah, it's a, full pro it's a false promise. That doesn't sound very reassuring. I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just look at her. Do you think she has good intentions for her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. And I'm curious, narrator. Shit. Sounds great. Do it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. The princess swims through the air in front of you. Pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. Let's see what happens. There's a hunger in her gaze. You're really You're trying, trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yes. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs. 
your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? Oh. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. Okay. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. In my mind, or whatever now. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? <laughs> yep. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. Oh, come on. Oh, shards of broken glass on the floor. Are they also supposed to be you? What? Hey! I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't yes. have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. Piece of glass. Are we still talking about the mirror? They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? For the most part, no. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. Okay. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a... memory than a person. That's rude. <laughs> you're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, she's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. And yeah. setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all round foolish decision. Setting the scene. Sounds like me when I'm out of the M. <laughs> oh shit. I don't foolish decisions. Uh, yeah, I let up. I murder someone and I let her ghost possess me. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. According to you. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. I'll leave the basement. <sighs> Your legs. Weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm okay. just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. Probably it is. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait. If she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I guess. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Again. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? You are getting philosophical now. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. 
maybe right? the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. And I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. But why? It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. <laughs> okay, gold is my favorite so far. This body wasn't made to hold <laughs> you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. It's forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Uh, yes? Boy, is nothing. He's gone, and so is everything else. Okay, so we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. We slayed the narrator. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yes. Yeah, but. That thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Oh. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of song and... Sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. Um, you actually freed me, didn't you? I'm all sorry. Thanks for giving me a second chance, Philip. Don't mention it. You're welcome, I guess. I think this was where I meant to be. Again, the hands. You don't get the, same, the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Uh, it's going to be okay, just trust me. We have been here before, and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. You don't need to comfort him. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be it's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so. We'll trust you. I, I, I they they are gone when I when we look at the mirror. Whatever makes you happy. It's the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. In silence, as you read forward, they are gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You have grown. What? You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cavern. You're at the cavern. Approach her. Flickering Aww. lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. 
I am more than I was before. You're also growing. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. So you're, you're all learning or absorbing the incarnations of the princess, or I guess your growth, but we still don't know who are you. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. <laughs> Can I tag her or ask her why? What did you want me to bring you next? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. All right, I can, I can attack her. I mean, I want to keep bringing her perspectives or endings to see what's gonna happen, but after that, perhaps we can attack her and see what's happening. Um, but I wanted the option to thank her. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Destroy your body, what? Uh, um. Okay, there are so many options that is... Man. <laughs> I don't know what to do now, but I want to see if we can get more perspectives. So I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Okay. We will meet again. Damn. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it here for... Man! <laughs> Once again, this game is exceeding my expectations on... The story is still confusing, still don't know what other variations there could be on, on what's going on with our character, the narrator, the voices, and and whatever this entity and the princess is. But so far, it's been entertaining, has been fun, it's been really, really good. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I don't know, still, I don't know how it ends, but so far been pretty good before i go i want to tell you guys that if you are seeing this please leave me a comment on what you think about the game but i hope you're enjoying the game of the gameplay so far and the commentary of my part I'm doing my best <laughs> so once again thank you for being here thank you for being so awesome and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> Bye bye